Today our travels take us to the heart of the South Side, in what uh, was an area of Bethlehem where the average person wasn't ever able to get anywhere within probably a half a mile of during the heyday of Bethlehem Steel. We're talking, of course, about what are now known as the steel stacks, but are actually blast furnaces. A blast furnace is a type of metallurgical furnace used for smelting to produce industrial metals, generally pig iron, but also others such as lead or copper. Blast refers to the combustion air being forced or supplied above atmospheric pressure. In a blast furnace, fuel, coke, ores, and flux, limestone, are continuously supplied through the top of the furnace, while a hot blast of air, sometimes with oxygen enrichment, is blown into the lower section of the furnace through a series of pipes, so that the chemical reactions take place throughout the furnace as the material falls downward. The end products are usually molten metal and slag phases tapped from the bottom and waste gas is exiting from the top of the furnace. The downward flow of the ore along with the flux in contact with an upflow of hot, carbon monoxide rich combustion gases is a counter current exchange and chemical reaction process. Here in Bethlehem, this area now called Steel Stacks is actually Blast Furnace Row. The furnaces are identified from left to right, being letter A, B, C, D, and E. The oldest furnace is Blast Furnace A, which was built in 1914. It was rebuilt in 1950 and last ran in 1960. Because of its location directly beside another Blast Active Mill buildings, and a busy mainline railroad, it was never demolished. This furnace is notable because it is the only surviving blast furnace in the United States that still has triple pass stoves. The rest of the blast furnaces have been upgraded to two pass stoves. Each furnace typically had three to five stoves associated with it. The stoves were used to heat the blast of air that was blown into the furnaces. The scene pictured here is very different from when the plant was in operation. The paved road in front would have been filled with railroad tracks that once served the plant, and before that, the main line of the Lehigh Valley Railroad, which was relocated north of the plant, where it still hosts Norfolk Southern trains. Directly in front of the furnaces would have stood a powerhouse with seven giant gas engines which produced 25 cycle AC power. This type of electrical power was noticeable by the visible flicker and light bulbs powered by it. Because this form of power was obsolete by the 1970s, the engines were scrapped. The only surviving element is the flywheel and generator from number 7 engine. Between the flywheel and the building to the right would have stood another powerhouse with a trio of steam-powered turbo blowers, which augmented the gas-powered blowing engines, which still stand inside the building in the right of the image. The turbo blowers have been dismantled, with only the rotating elements being preserved. Those components are in storage in the gas blowing engine house. The buildings housing the AC engines, turbo blowers, and gas blowing engines were all once connected. However, the former two buildings were demolished by Bethlehem Steel in the late 1990s, leaving the gas blowing engine house standing alone. You know, we may have a tendency to forget that for most of the 20th century, these behemoths were the engines of the steel-making process here in Bethlehem. Actually, until 1995, these great machines operated all day, every day, transforming raw materials into the products that defended democracy here and abroad, and helped to build the bridges, dams, highways, and skyscrapers of our modern society. The men who toiled here were our neighbors and friends, our grandfathers, fathers, uncles, and brothers. Their skill and courage made it possible to build a solid middle class here in Bethlehem and provided a foundation for future success for future generations.